allow me to introduce uh, my speech with a quote. Open qu the world we live in today needs the values of religion, which holds the virtues we must uh, arm ourselves with uh, to be in the good graces of our Creator, God Almighty, who and which strengthen in us the propensity for tolerance, love, and cooperation marked by the seal of human charity and piety. These words, we owe them to His Majesty King Mohammed VI, Amir al-Mu'minin, whose world knows, the world knows his openness, his wisdom, and his desire to build bridges across the Mediterranean by fighting with courage and determination religious fundamentalisms. This fundamentalism does not feed only on disenchantment with the world as much as it feeds on the failure of happy modernity and rather than an opposition to globalization. The religious fact was transformed throughout the 20th century and its manipulation, not to say its instrumentalization for hegemonic purposes, has diverted the very nature of its vocation to be an actor of peace and reconciliation, re peace, reconciliation, and dialogue. The international scene is undergoing profound upheavals today. Identity conflicts are linked to the rise of social injustices. At the same time, the perception of inequalities is on the increase. In this context of insecurity, religion can have a positive role. If it becomes able to reclaim the nature of its own message, a message that has been diverted, a message that has been violated, a message that has been trapped by warmongering of the fundamentalists. Although it is true that there are many misunderstandings on the religious fundamentalism, religion has, without any doubt, been used as a means for political ends or for personal interests that are inherently contradictory to religion. Hence, it is necessary to notice the imperative, the imperative need for dialogue in order to meet or respond to contemporary conflicts beyond the religious nature or not of these conflicts. Dialogue is not a negotiation. It is not a controversy either. It is dialogue is has no winner and no loser. It is about a characteristic of the human being through which the relational quality of the human person is uh, constituted. To understand what is happening in our world today, we need to think about the role of religion in humanity. What some call the return of the religious or the God's return in a world that is secular world, but they witness a reactivation of an essential dimension of humanity, which, uh, even if it is uh, connected to identity, is not, however, uh, I identity seeking rather as much as it is metaphysical and spiritual. In this sense, the function of the religion may appear obvious, but they are nonetheless crucial for human existence and human coexistence. Religion is connected to human concerns and helps us develop answers to essential existential questions related to life and its meaning, truth, and eternity. 
religion is connected to uh, the identity of peoples and civil civilizations. This is why the religious traditions of others uh, should not only be known, acknowledged, but also appreciated. This knowledge is a prerequisite, a necessary prerequisite for any kind of dialogue. Religion has participated to the achievement of great cultural and civilizational uh, adventures. Religion is a factor, an essential factor of the peace process. As written by St. Paul, God is not a God of disorder, but a God of peace. This is what the Holy and Grand Council of the Orthodox Church in June 2016 reminded us, saying, reminded us the importance of interfaith dialogue. The, the frank uh, interfaith dialogue contributes to the development of mutual trust, trust in the promotion of peace and reconciliation. The Church strives to make peace more tangible. The true peace is not obtained by force, the force of arms, but only by love that has uh, that does not seek its interests. This is type six. The balm of faith must serve to heal and uh, cure injuries, but not to rekindle new hatreds. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, Morocco has always been a country that was precursor in terms of interfaith dialogue. It was at the vanguard of the fight against fundamentalism. As you will know, the Mediterranean basin has known for many past centuries a co specific cohabitation between Jews, Christians, and Muslims. This experience shows if we needed to bring proof again that the believers in uh, different uh, religious traditions can live together around a common project, that of uh, the unity, humanity's unity and peace. That's the unity of humanity and the unity of peace. Among the big religious institutions, uh, the Ecumenic Patriarchal of Constantinople occupies, because of its history, a unique position along the uh, upheavals, uh, traumatic upheavals that it has uh, been faced with uh, two millenniums, our patriarchal institution has always remained active. A testimony of this is that it is possible to survive and to pass on a testimony of civilization throughout the ages because of its existence, the Orthodox Church contributes to give meaning and hope in a world dominated by anguish, a world which is looking for its path. The legitimacy of religion today depends on their clear attitude towards the protection of the liberties and uh, human dignity, human liberty and dignity as uh, founding principles in the establishment of peace, which is also at the center of interfaith dialogue. No challenge, whether it be personal or international, can find a solution in solitude and isolation. We all need each other. We need to rely on each other because we are relational beings. We are people of communion who, as we move on, become true actors for peace. We cannot, we, of course, we cannot but be delighted by the uh, this uh, meeting, which is held the 10th um, edition of this uh, World Policy Conference, which is being held in Morocco, by inviting me to give this uh, 
speech uh, at the opening session. The organizers whom I would like to thank, uh, I would like to thank in particular Mr. de Montbrial for his friendship. Uh, and I would also like to highlight the fundamental importance uh, that religion has in the thinking about the affairs of the world, or to say differently, talking about the international stakes, uh, the ecumenic patriarchal, which we have the honor of representing here today, thanks the organizers and wishes them full success in this endeavor. Thank you for your attention.